You're watching Panina Monet for makeup and hair in all things pretty. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Panina Monet, and I'm here with a collaboration with the beautiful epitome of Brie. Make sure you guys go check out her channel so you can see her look that she did. And we are giving you Summer Slay Bolt Fuchsia Lip Vibes today. Make sure, make sure you go give her some support, give her some love, subscribe to her channel, thumbs up her video, and make sure you do the same here. And I'm going to jump right into this wonderful video. And the first thing that I'm going to use is the Benefit Air Patrol and I use this to prime my eyes and I'm using ColourPop's Easy Peasy Eyeshadow and I'm going to put this in the usual spot this is my transition color so that way when I lay all the rest of the colors they will blend seamlessly up into my eye my eyebrow my brow bone <laughs> and now I'm going to go in with this Nubian palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going in with this pretty color and I'm going to pop that directly underneath the first color that I use and I am using a blending brush of course for the eyes to blend all of this in and the key to this look or any look is to make sure you guys blend 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 your life away and I'm going back in with this warmish brown color to pop directly in the center of my crease so that way I can warm up that part because I don't want this look to be too cool so I need just a little bit of warmth and now I'm going in with this darker color and I'm going to put that in my outer V and I'm also going to pop that inside the crease or blend the rest of whatever is left over on that brush into the crease to darken it up just a tad bit and I'm making sure I blend all of this out really really well because I do not want any sharp lines I don't like sharp lines on my eyes now I'm going in with the tart shape tape and I am going to basically give myself a cut crease and I'm going to blend this in so much that it does not give me sharp lines yet again and I'm going to go directly on top of that with the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette and the shade that I'm going to use is called latest and I'm taking that color and popping it directly on top of that concealer to give myself almost like an eggshell color or tannish tannish beige color to put on my lids and then I'm going back in with that Nubia palette and I'm going to pick that dark that darker color and that reddish brown to pop back on the outer feet or the outer corner of my eye and inside the crease to blend out those lines so there won't be any harsh lines now I'm going in with this cream elf liner or this elf cream liner and it is called teal tease now this liner is extremely teal extremely teal and extremely clean um <laughs> extremely creamy and I'm going to go on top of that with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Ibiza to kind of give it more of an opaque look and also give it just a little bit more shine because it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be but it was cool because the ColourPop shadow was almost identical and it gave me just a little more pop and a little more sparkle, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm going to take that and wing directly underneath that Till Tease color. And I'm going to make a really tiny, tiny line. So basically, I'm doing like a double wing liner. And I'm going to put this as close to my lash line as possible. And make it try or attempt to make it as tight and as clean as possible and I love this liner it's black and it dries matte and it's one of the easiest felt tip liners that I've ever used now the next product that I'm going to use is this Becca first light primer and I would not recommend this for oily skin uh, that's just my take on it it did make my face look really really greasy after a couple hours now I'm using the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in 330 toffee and then also I'm going in with this um, Mac prep and prime concealer in peach and I am blending all of that out and then I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel or caramel and I'm also using the LA girl pro conceal in beautiful bronze This is one of my favorite favorite contour colors and I'm going to blend that in and I'm also using this tart shape tape again and this is in tan sand to lighten up under my eyes this is the Cody air spun translucent powder and I am putting that bad boy on all the areas that I um, concealed or 
highlighted and that was the kiss ruby lashes and i popped those bad boys on off camera and now i'm using the mac mineralized skin finish and the lighter shade is dark and i'm using that to dust off that translucent powder and then a darker shade that i'm using is dark deep and i'm going to use that to contour with or really to bronze and then for contouring i'm going to go in with the anastasia beverly hills kit in medium to tan and i'm going to be using the shade espresso and I'm going to be using this NARS brush to further cut out my cheekbones. Now I'm going in with these NARS blushes. The first one is Luster and the last one is Orgasm. And these two together was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful combination. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Charge Water to spray my face to try to get down some of that powdery look because I did use a lot of powders. And then I'm going to go in with this uh, Nubian palette again. And I'm going to be using that warm brown color to pop underneath my eye. So that I can bring just a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of color at the bottom of my eye. I'm also using that lighter shade to blend it out. So that way it won't be so harsh at the very, very bottom. And then now I'm going in with this NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Liner. And this is in the shade Bourbon Street. And I'm using that to put in my waterline it's a beautiful purple color and y'all know this is my favorite mascara ever so i'm going in with the Too Faced better than sex mascara and i'm popping it at the top and the bottom of my lashes you already know how it goes <laughs> and i'm going in with this mac lip pencil and this is in the shade magenta and i'm also pairing that up with the shade chestnut and i'm going to use both of those to line my lips and then I'm using the star of the show, this ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Drive In. I freaking love ColourPop everything. I love it, love it, love it. If you guys have never tried it, please go out and try it. Go on ColourPop's website. I will link it down below and try out everything they have because it's so wonderful. I love that company. And then the next thing that I'm going to use is one of my favorite highlighters. It is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I'm going to pop that on all of the high points of my face. So you already know my... Uh, uh, above my cheekbone my nose underneath my brow above my lip and right in the center in between my eyes you already know how that goes <laughs> and then the next thing that I'm going to do is use this color pop um, super shock shadow and this is in the shade telepathy this is a beautiful greenish yellowish color like it's kind of hard to explain but it's a beautiful 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 color and I'm popping that on the inner corner of my eye to also give me just a little bit of brightness right there and to give me a little bit of a warm warmish color and I'm going in with this um oh did y'all see that my freaking eyeshadow fell out of the palette oh I was so hurt I was so hurt but this is the masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and the color is Bori or Bori and I am using that to pop in my crease because I wanted to bring a little bit of that pinkish shade that fuchsia shade into the eye look so that way everything could blend seamlessly and I got a little fluffy brush to make sure I blend that out well and this concludes the look I hope you guys enjoy make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video peace out